Safin is manipulatively charming in ways that don't hold him to the confines of a stereotypical villain. He's not a cackling megalomaniac. Uh, I don't, don't necessarily know if he's concerned with good or evil, uh, black, white, nothing is, is, it's not binary. Uh, he just, he's all about who strikes first and who strikes fiercest. That's all that matters. I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to share this film with the world at this moment. I feel like we need it. We need to galvanize around one another and do that thing that we love so very much, is sit in a theater and have our hearts just pounding and uh, bring on the popcorn and, and laugh and be moved. And especially in this film, really have your heart broken as well and then just filled right back up with all those exhilarating feelings that cinema brings to us. Uh, I'm so glad we're able to usher in our return to theaters in such a big way with no time to die. Working with Daniel is just everything you would want it to be. He is giving, he's so dedicated and you know, he really appreciates it when he sees that reciprocated. The guy's an essence of being a leader. He sets a tone on set that is admirable, and it, it really inspires the, the whole community around him. Every per person working in all the departments and crafts, the actors, uh, even, you know, working with Carrie, we just feel elevated, uh, and that there's a, a, a very high bar that you want to live up to. Um, what can I say? Good bloke. Great bloke. Well, Bond films are by nature always an event. They're part of our complex cinematic history. They're woven into our lives. They're, they're films we can share with across, you know, they're multi-generational. Um, you know, they appeal to so many people and what Daniel has been able to do with this character is, is create the sense of empathy that we have for Bond. We really care about him. And this film especially will have you caring for him in a way you haven't felt before. So you get all the things you get in a Bond, a Bond film. You get the incredible stunts. You uh, get the heart-pounding score. Uh, the, the cinematography is it's special. It's pretty unreal. Uh, gorgeous costumes, iconic sets that all make sense together. You really feel like you're dipping into one of those Ian Fleming books for this film, and it is on steroids. Uh, it's, it's really heart-pounding, it's heart-wrenching, and uh, you will be moved. <laughs>